Hello everybody and welcome back to Pathfinder Plays to my series, Random Questions from the Dead Matter Discord. Let's begin. Unforgiving asks, Night looks really dark in this game. Will there be sleeping? Havoc Hank comes in and says the darkness will vary with the moon cycle. Being able to sleep through the night is being considered for single player slash co-op though. Gunner asks, Will there be any underground areas like a subway slash metro that you can explore and people can claim bases in? Onyx says, yes, there will be underground areas. But as far as I know, no, you can't make bases in them. David Durek asks, Will zombies be able to do damage to vehicles like breaking the windows, headlights, and will there be bulletproof windows? Reggie Bless Clap says, yes, and no bulletproof windows on cars. Might find some in buildings, though. I would think of maybe the police station would have the bulletproof glass. Cardinal94 asks, About the NPCs, will they be killable by a player or will they be in zones where the player is forced to holster his weapon? If they are killable, then players will probably kill all NPCs they see to prevent other players from interacting with them. That's actually a really good question. Americ says most will be killable, however a few won't be, i.e. traitors and quest givers. So yes, you can kill all the NPCs you want, however, the most important ones will be impervious. Will there be any light sources by default, like electricity working in some places? If only players can create light sources, then you can fly a plane in a clear night and locate players. Gunslinger says yes. Americ says power will be running at the start of a server's life. That's one of the great things I like about this game is the fact that being as it's two weeks after the fall of civilization, they made it to where the water and the power and everything and the plumbing will slowly stop working and power grids will start to shut down as society continues to collapse. Fantastic. Cardinal94 again with a great question. Will wind affect bullet flight when firing at long ranges? Americ says, not wind, there is bullet drop, etc. Kamuali. I don't know if this has been answered, but will there be car keys? If so, will each car have its own key? And if they do have their own key, will these keys be found? Americ says, server admins will have plenty of control over their server. Yes, there will be car keys, and they will be found close to the vehicle, very much so like Project Zomboid. Reaper asks if there's going to be peck boxes, which uh, PEQ box is essentially a laser sight slash flashlight in one single attachment for a long gun. And Havoc Tank says, yes, there is one of those. And then Reaper again asks if there will be a selector switch on firearms to go from burst to safe to full auto or single fire. And Havoc Hank says, yes. Two questions here. Nanderson02, can you use the radio stations to talk to your friends? Have a kink? Yes. Reaper, when screaming through a mic, can other people hear you? Yes, but you don't have to scream. Please don't scream. That would scare me very much so if I didn't know you were there. Big Money Jesus, will gore be present in player characters too, with higher powered rifles? Onyx says, to a much lesser degree than zombies, gore will be present. Would it make sense to have a hole in a player and be fine, you know? Which is completely true. They don't want you to necessarily die in one hit from another player unless maybe it's a headshot. But it would be rather strange to be functioning as you were and still being in the gunfight if you were just pelted with a bunch of holes. Little Scoop Boy! Will we be able to tell the difference between bandits and normal NPCs? Like, will they wear different types of clothes, etc., to make them stand out? Capitalize us on stand, so you know it's important. Americ says the different factions will have different outfits of some sort, so you can tell them apart. Little Scoop Boy again asks. Will bandits, like, call you over, then a group of them jump out and try to rob you, or is it a KOS for the bandits? Americ says, you, if you have a negative standing with that faction, then they may attack on sight. Reggie Bless comes in and says, some bandits might KOS, but bandits don't necessarily want to kill you since they want your stuff so they can continue surviving. You can't rob a corpse more than once. Absolutely true. Mikhail Jacquet says, Is the zombie apocalypse a worldwide problem here, or is it just in Canada and they have shut the borders? Havoc Hank says, That's something you'll have to wait and see. No spoilers. 
Man, how, how tantalizing, Hank. Kamawali asks, how common are guns? Hank says they will be relatively common depending on the type of gun. Some of the more militaristic guns will be rare, as they should be. I'm excited to have a civilian-focused gunplay game, all right? It's going to be great. You got your hunting rifles, you got your pistols, you got your shotguns, and you got your handcrafted flamethrower, which we will have tons of fun with. Michael Jacquet, will there be a cassette player inside some of the vehicles? Reggie Bless says, cassette players are not planned, but radios are. I hope that one day they will add cassette players to the cars, only if they actually obviously add cassettes to the game. And it would be cool to have a situation like where modders in DayZ, they can actually have cassette tapes from different player-made factions. It, it would be nice to have that kind of player interaction and modding support to where you can record yourself onto a cassette in-game and you can put it in the world for people to find. It would, be, it would be another avenue of storytelling. I would like that. And ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this Dead Matter Random Questions from the Discord episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you all found value in it. I hope you all had questions answered even if you did not even know you had those questions if you found this video to be a value and you like scares survival and scavenging consider hitting that subscribe button hitting that bell button and i will see you in the next one path out